<clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? It's World Conqueror 2 Tutorials here. Back to you guys with another video. Sorry I skipped yesterday. I was very busy. Anyway, today we have the, the next level of the campaign, which is Sea Lion. I know a lot of people have a rough time with this, but, you know, it happens. It took me a while to beat this level, too. Alright. So basically, what you want to do here to start off is send your, um, Use your tank and artillery to take out this tank as well as the armored cars. So now they're both still full health. Use that artillery on that tank. Send your general tank up there. These are going to help you defend. So now what you want to do is you want to buy infantry. And you usually you can buy two if you don't have a, go a gold infantry medal. Just put atta attack and defense art because I have lots of money. I and good infantry. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just you know, move it over here as extra support. So then, in your turn, right here, as you see, I have two infantry here, as well as that. Anyway, then you just wait for your. This level, it, it looks bad at the beginning. I'm not gonna lie, it looks bad, but you, it just takes patience as well as. Yeah, this takes patience, and it's time-consuming. So if you're okay with, you know, having a little time-consuming trip thing, if you if you have probably 10, 15 minutes, then, you know, you can do this level. The key here is buying lots of infantry. Because I'll show you why in a minute. Oh, and don't worry all about how many troops France has. Your friend over there will help you do that, but... Your friend over there will do it for you. The, the invasion from Norway is just going to knock out the troops. Uh, it's not going to be successful. It, but However, it will distract England for a while to take some stress off you, so that's why it's there. See, now, now they're stacking up right there, and I should... Use, yep, and now they are attacking the general tank. Now, artilleries are very important. I can't emphasize how important they are. Um, just keep attacking the infantry and take over the city. Upgrade the city to where you can buy infantry and buy one infantry to cover the tank. Attack it. And just attack with whatever infantry you have left. The ship is just a blockade ship to help, you know, block the... Uh, British troops. It won't stay forever, so don't freak out if it dies. Because that's just, that's going to happen. I have had one level where that cruiser has survived. Anyway, so now, this is basically step-by-step -step stuff. You can't rush it, you can, and it's, every move is important. You have, to, you, re, you have to knock the British out, and you can't skip it. That's like, it's one of the crucial parts. You cannot... So... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, France will waste a lot of its tr troop health on trying to get the Switzerland city. So it's, it's, that's going to help you guys because, you know, less troops, you know? So they, they took out the French commander tank. Now it's basically easy pickings. You, after you, um, excuse me, where, where are the words? Yeah, just, just just buy infantry. You you need to gobble up the land because because you're gonna, you, you you you're gonna need the income. You really do need the income. My my cruise is gonna is gonna die after this turn. You because you you're gonna need the income. You you really need to take out over this industry and that city if if you can. Honestly, that city's going to be really hard to get, though, so. And also, don't think about being, being sympathetic for the, um, coma for the commander, no, for your friend that helps you take over France, because he can't invade because he has no access to water. So just gobble up all, of his, all the land you can, because trust me, you, you need it a lot more than he does. 
and it may look bad right now, but it's it's really not. Like the, the tank died. Honestly, your troops down there will die, but you can just use. And yeah, I'll, I'll get into it as I do it. So they are taking over stuff, and I'm an. It, but I need it. So I'm just gonna section off all of this land and take the tier two city. My infantry will eventually take all that stuff over, take over that. And now we have to focus on these guys. Your commander tank is very important on this. Your, the infantry is very weak, so you're gonna have to, you know, be smart. The artillery is here because. The British like to invade from here as like a counter, like see right here. Like, you, you have to watch out for that. You do. Buy an armored car. One. There you go. If you, if you have money left over, buy some infantry and just finish the job. <clears throat> you can do whatever the if you have troops left over, you can you can do whatever you want with them. So, then you just end your turn, and come up. As you see, they're about to land, but a lot of their troops died in the water. So, but they, they are going to destroy a lot of troops, which is going to cut back England, and the Great Britain, a lot. <clears throat> so, basically... Now that they destroyed, they've destroyed it for a while, but as you see, it's not going to last very long. So the French are putting up their stand in the Swiss city. Um, yeah, the command, their tank, the tank should land now, or they can just fight in the water like idiots. As you see, like, they see they're not connected to the water. Like, those are two, di two different people. So cut that off. Take over the industry. Send the art. It's not gonna be much use, but you know, send the artillery up. Destroy the battleship, as it's just annoying. You can attack that. Use the supply line on your injured troops. The supply lines are very important. Very important. So with the leftover money you have from that, go here, take the seaport. I got a new message. Um. So that tank's just gonna help do that. All right. Now, now you should be looking better. Keep in mind, the levels are random, so it may not turn out exactly like this. But you know, this is the one that happens. So they probably will take over the seaport. But if you do it, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's. Um, they, they will send reinforcements, but, you know, it's not going to last too long. So, they, they got the, France is now destroyed, except for, you know, this one, this one little piece of land, but, you know. Alright, so, we got artillery coming up, and we got that armored car to take care of, so we're going to hit it. And we want to get, we, we, we want to have one infantry in this city at all times to protect, or, or you can stay in the water like I just did, but you don't have to. So we want two infantry. And I'm just, I'm just going to go in and get uh, low infantry and use the meat shield. What, I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hold my seaport so I can buy a cruiser or even a destroyer to, to just block to block off England from sending stuff to me so I can get a army ready. So so the air it's very hard though since they have that aircraft carrier. But now France really doesn't have anything to do and Marshal Goering is I don't know how to say it. Go Goering, whatever. Uh they've landed in Scotland. France is now defeated. Take over my seaport. Get another infantry here. Just throw his life away. Who even cares? Put the put the artillery right here and here, and move your artillery away. But don't be stupid like me, and make sure you have enough money for a ship. You know what? Scratch the ship idea. Just put more infantry in the water until you have enough for a, a ship. 
<clears throat> you're probably not going to get five stars in your first try. I, I have a different strategy that gets me five stars, but you really have to have the gold infantry medal. But I'm assuming most of you that are stuck on sea lion would not have that. Just an assumption. So they're breaking in. The com their commander tank has landed. So that that's going to cause havoc. I'm not saying that all the time. And the artillery is going to be important because you know you can you can shoot stuff. So now that the counter artillery is gone, so no, don't care what happens with that. You can just feed feed off of this. And since I have I don't I have enough for ship, but I don't have my seaport, so I'm just gonna take three infantry, almost made four, that would have been bad, and just stack them up in here to guard the seaport, and that's going to be the end of the turn, although I am going to put that there and put the infantry over here. The infantry is weak because it doesn't have anything on it. Alright, so, Great Britain is going, they sh they sh pro they're probably not going to be able to counter my two infantry, I'm not saying they can't. But they got one and a half, so that was, yeah. Marshall Goering is just, it's just extra support. Like, the invasion from Norwegian just get, the invasion from Norway just, yeah, like, they, they've landed, and now there's, I've, I have this, if you can hold off, that what hurts, that's, that hurts Britain. If you can keep them in their country and block off the English Channel, that's a big, that's a big deal. Don't buy it. Don't buy a battleship. I'm just gonna buy a destroyer because it because it's cheap. Don't forget to put an attack and a fence art on it. <coughs> and you can get an ar just get an army. And now that the destroyer's there, it it blocks the British troops from getting your land. It, it it'll stall you a couple turns, and especially with Marshal Goering's troops, it's just, it's just bad for him. You, you can let him, I would suggest, since Marshal Goering is probably going to be able to take over mainland Britain, I would suggest trying to, um, land, he, land here and here, if you have counter troops, and get that up there. Now that that happens, take all your leftover troops and, and equip them with carriers, and get them in the water. Only I, I, I'm just throwing that guy's life away because I feel like it. Anyway, get, get as much infantry as you can. Send, w send, but make sure you have enough for carriers. Send two infantry over to uh, the uh, Ireland and. We'll take over that next turn, but I want to guard the city because you know, the city's better. Actually, you know what? Take over the uh, industry. So they've they've taken back the city, which I I could probably take back with airstrikes. But so Mar Marshal Goering is getting reinforcements, as you can probably tell. So London should fall next turn. Oh, and don't think Marshall Goering will get it all the time. Most of the time, he won't. Or, I don't want to say most of the time, but... A lot of the time, yep, yeah, that's it. A lot of the time, he won't, so don't don't count on it. I know that... So, move, move your destroyer out of the way so you can get your commander tank. If, don't forget to use supplies if your troops get, get, get low, so don't forget that. On it... You're gonna have to let him do that. Focus on Ireland, because Ireland's not gonna be strongly protected. So now, now basically they're fighting my destroyer. Marshal Goring's troops are really nailing them from both sides, from the Low Countries and Norway. So London should fall. Or they're really close. So they all they do is just stack up right there. So it's, it's they're they're completely useless. 
So now that my troops have, um, I'm sorry, but I need that land. I'm, I'm that was an accident, but they send send the infantry you don't need back over here. So now, now that you have Ireland secured, you can basically just assault them from Ireland. So yeah, you can just. I just want to make it look cool, so I'm putting it in twos. The infantry is not going to be very effective. It's it's just like a distracting tool most of the time, really. This is one of the rare level ones. It's kind of a tutorial, but mainly it just it's it's a tutorial, yes. But there are some things in here that usually don't happen. So that's let's take here. Let's make them surrounded. Oh, and if you, if you surround a troop, it gives them less morale, and, you know, it, they can, they take more damage and stuff. Alright, so one, two, and three, four, and five. So England is defeated except for that, which they will get, which our friendly, friendly comm player will get for us. I hope he better, otherwise I'm going to slap him. And there we go. That's the, and it's a perfect victory. So that's five stars. So anyway, guys, that was it. I like. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and goodbye.